Hello, amazing friends. Let's solve this math Olympiad equation together. But I tell you, it's very simple and you're going to enjoy what you're about to do. Now let's do it together, okay? So we just begin it with solution. So we have... Um... Now remember, this is what we have. Now, what you need to remember is just some tips which I'm about to show you. For this, remember that when you have a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n, which you can re be written as this, okay? It is the same as division sign turns to subtraction. I hope you can see it. Now, let's see how helpful this will be to us as we solve. So this is going to give us, we are going to have, bring this down. So we have 2 to the power of following this, okay? So we have 2 to the power of 2x divided by 2 to the power of 3. I hope you can see it, okay? Is equal to 5 to the power of 2 divided by 5 to the power of x. Amazing. Now, what do you think we should do again? We are going to also remember another exponential rule which says that when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n, it simply means a to the power of mn, you multiply the powers, okay? So what it means is that for this, we are going to have it as, so this is going to give us 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. I hope you are with me there. Then all over 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 5 to the power of 2 over, this is 5 to the power of x. Now, what do you think we should do next now the next thing to do here is we are going to have so we can take this off so we're going to now have this is going to give us two to the power of two is two multiplied two times and that will give us four so for this numerator it gives us four to the power of x we are simplifying okay then two to the power of three is two multiplied three times and that will give us eight so we have eight here is equal to then five to the power of two is five multiplied two times and that will give us 25 all over this will give us five to the power of x okay now at this point what do you think you should do we are going to cross multiply this because of this equal sign so if you do that you are going to have four to the power of x we multiply let's use dot for multiplication okay 5 to the power of x, which is equal to this, we multiply 25. I hope you are still with me there. It's just very amazing. Now, what do you do at this point? I want to remind you of another tip, which says that when you have a, b raised to the power of n, what does it mean? It means you are going to raise this a to the power of n and then raise b to the power of n. Okay, if you want to know more about exponent and issue, I will leave a link in the comment. So this is the same as this. Now, what does it mean? It means that for this left side, we can simplify further, okay? So if you do that, you are going to have, this is the same as this. So we want this to be in this form. So it means you are going to have four, will be multiplied by five, and they are going to share the same power of x. You notice that the powers are the same likewise this okay so this is the same as this and everything is equal to if you multiply it by 25 it gives us a uh, 200 interesting now what do we do at this point you multiply these two it's going to give us 20 so we're going to have 20 and it will be raised to the power of x is equal to this 200 interesting now what do you do? remember you are to get x so what we need to do here is to take log with them of both sides, okay? So in that case, we are going to have log of, so this is what we have. So we have log of 20 to the power of x is equal to log of 200. Interesting. Now, what do you do? Remember this rule, which says that if you have log a to the power of x, the power rule, you do, what you do is use this power to multiply. So it becomes x log a, okay? So this is going to guide us in this. And to do that, this x is going to multiply the log. So we're going to have x log 20 
x log 20 is equal to log 200. Now remember our target is to get x. This log 20 serves as the coefficient. So to get your x, what we do is we are going to divide each of these by the coefficient, which is log of 20. So in that case, we are going to have x log 20 all over log 20 is equal to log of 200 divided by log of 20. Now what do you do? We are going to cancel this out. And this is going to be left with x is equal to log of 200 over this. But remember, we are, go we are not going to leave this answer like this. Just watch. We are not going to leave it this way because this answer is not simplified. Okay, so what you are going to do is to reduce it. And to reduce it, we are going to have it that x is equal to, for 200, we can have it as log 2 multiplied by 100. Did you see that? When you multiply this, it gives you back 200. And that is equal to, for 20, we can have it as 2 multiplied by 10. Interesting. Now, what do you do again? Remember another rule of this logarithm, which says that, if you have log a multiplied by b like this, it is the same as log of a multiplication sign turns to addition. Okay, so this is going to guide us for easy simplification. Now, if we apply this, we are going to now have x is equal to, this is going to give us log of 2, obeying this, okay, then plus log of 100 all over this is going to give us log of 2 plus log of 10. Amazing. Now, what do you do again? Remember that this 10, this 100, that this logarithm is a common log, okay? Any logarithm without a base is said to be a common log, and it has a general base of 10. I hope you got that. So what it means is that this can also be simplified to be, so we're going to have x log 2, plus for this 100, it is the same as log of 10 raised to the power of 2. Amazing. Then all over, this will give us log of 2 plus log of 10. Now, from here, we're having x is equal to log of 2 plus, for this, remember, the power of the log is used to multiply the log. So this gives us 2 log 10. I hope you're with me all over log of 2 plus this is log of 10. Now, just like we said it, that this has a common base of 10. And you know that when you have log of the same number and base, it is always 1, okay? So this has given us, because you know that this is the same as this, which is what we have here. Did you see that? And the result is always 1. So if this is the case, we are going to have it that our x is going to be log of 2 plus this has given us 2. This is 1. Did you see it? So it's going to be 2 multiplied by 1 all over log of 2 plus for log of 10, we also have 1. Did you see that? So this is giving us x is equal to log of 2 plus multiply this, you have a 2. Did you see it? all over, this is going to give us log of 2 plus 1. Now, at this point, most students would decide to cancel these two out. Their reason is that this and this are the same. Please don't cancel out, okay? The reason is that you notice that the numerator has two terms that are joined together by this operation, addition sign. Likewise, the denominator. So when you have this kind of expression in this fractional form, where there is addition sign or subtraction sign joining two terms together, just like this. Please don't cancel out, okay? So if that is the case, you also observe that these values are already in a simplified form. So at this point, we are concluding that this becomes the value of a x. So this is our x value. And I hope you learned a lot. Let's know how much in the comment section. Remember, sharing this video will help more people to grab the skills we displayed. Don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up. Let's know how helpful it is in the comments. I will see you in our next class. Bye-bye.